Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 9 and 10. This is the finals, and also I'm going to reveal the final commission to you, because Episode 10 is just all about that. So, let's get started. The finals are done in a slightly different way, but they start out in standard format that we know so far. This is the name of the uh, singer-songwriter that they're going to be painting, and here she is. Oh, boy. She just looks so lovely there. So the three finalists have four hours to complete a portrait of her. So that's the standard format as we've known it. And at the end of that time, the paintings will be revealed and she will take one halt. So nothing's different about that. So let's, let's see how the episode begins. All right, it's been four hours. The artists turn their easels around and we get to have a pretty promising look of what we're going to see. And remember, there's a good reason these are all promising because each one of these people won their own episode and then they also fin uh, won the semifinals, which was last week. So semifinalist number one, let's take a look at what he does. There's a, he is with his self-portrait and by now you know that's how you get on the program. You send a digital self-portrait and from that they decide who will participate in the program. So good job on that. And here he is with the portrait that he did today in the four hours. Looks pretty good from here. Looks like he got the likeness exactly right. Reads well from across the room. Uh, nice composition. Love that hit of the uh, green chair on the side. There's a close-up. Look at all the building of uh, flesh tones that he used. That's really sculpturally done. Really nice. Uh, he's, he's quite a complex painter. I didn't think that during his actual episode, but I can see that here. Uh, here's the painting that he did for the semifinals. Remember, that was a double portrait, and I thought this was a strong one. Uh, many of the people in the semifinals had kind of a choking moment. They just didn't paint their best selves. Now, the second part of the finals is that each one of the finalists gets a final commission piece to do. Uh, Sir Kenneth Grange is who this art, no, artist number one uh, got as the draw. Uh, Kenneth, Grange is, Kenneth Grange is a British international designer, so he's been posed in front of a tool bench. It's frankly a whole wall of tools. And let's look at, and, and remember there's no time constraints on the final commission, so we can really see the full range of what these artists can do. Well, that's a beautiful likeness, and, and I was pretty impressed with that. But wait till you see what happens when we pull back. Oh my gosh, this artist, artist number one, uh, painted every gosh darn thing in the room, which is, I gotta say, look at that, my gosh. I mean, it's life size, it's got all his tools. Uh, what what can you say except what an incredibly proficient job that is? So you see the one on the left where he had uh, all the time he wanted to use and the one on the right which was the four hours. So there they are again together and I like to pull back so you get a better idea. Remember these are going to, if if his he's selected as a finalist, he's going to paint some, he's going to paint a picture that's going to be in the National Gallery and has to be read from across the wall of uh, the room. Semi-finalist number two. Uh, semi-finalist number two is very, look at how young she is and how young her self-portrait is. She is an incredibly accurate draw, uh, drafts person. She starts out with detailed drawings and she just, I don't even see her making any kind of uh, marks for proportion. She just seems to see it. Um, I find that astounding and, and, and somewhat intimidating as well. And this is particularly hard. This is a backlit a face. So hard to do backlighting, but she did a great job. Here's the painting that she did that won her heat, which was a, a beautiful job. So I'm not surprised to see her here in the finals. And now let's take a look at what she did in the semifinals. This was the double portrait. My only quibble was it, with this was that I did feel like it was two separate portraits. I wish that their shoulders had overlapped, but boy, I'm being so super picky about that. It's ridiculous. That's a great job. Now remember, this is who they are painting today in the four hours. So let's see what she does in the four hours. And um, knowing her, she's going to do an excellent job. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> We're going to pull in closer in a minute, but 
that is just a, an absolute perfect likeness of the sitter. And um, it's almost like the light is emanating out of her head. <laughs> she just, she, she, wow, to have the skills to be able to draw that well and also uh, have cohesive color is pretty amazing. I do think she uses a combination of paint and, and drawing. I think she draws these faces. Yeah, I'm, I, I know she draws these faces with colored pencil. Now, her commission pieces of Jerry Horner, and you'll recognize her. She was um, one of the Spice Girls. I don't remember her Spice Girl name, but I remember her costume. She would wear that British flag, <laughs> kind of a bathing suit with a British flag on it. Uh, this is what she looked like when we're first introduced. So that's a, that, I mean, that's a publicity photo of her. And now let's look at where she's positioned for artist number two to paint her. Or she, she didn't paint her in this. What they did was, you, you sort of see in this episode, that they meet and greet, and she does some preliminary drawings. Here's the actual final painting that she did of Jerry. Um, I think it captures her beautifully. You know, this, this girl's work is pretty darn impeccable. And if I remember correctly, it's a pretty large piece, too. So we've seen her work in a variety of formats. Remember, her self-portrait was quite small, and then the, um, the other portraits that she's done have been... Well, there we go. See? Big painting. Nice. I like how it sort of fades out below. That's my only complaint maybe about the first painter is absolutely everything is, it has the same amount of focus and intensity and interest. Whereas I, I do like it when an artist makes a decision to decide what they want you to focus on and clearly she wants to focus on um, Jerry's face. Now, the first, uh, I'm, I'm butch butchering her name here, Emile's pick. Remember, she, she has a one of these paintings she's going to take home, and she does pick artist number two's painting to take home, and I can understand why. I mean, she nailed it, and it has so much vitality and vigor of life in the face, but there you can see clearly that it's drawn, and then later paint is applied on the shoulders, the hair, and behind, but it's nicely done. Now let's take one look at uh, what she did. Oh, semi-finalist number three. So we've looked at all of number two. Semi-finalist number three, I just wanted to put the image here again. Remember, this is who they're painting in the four hours. And then we'll see what her commission is. Here's the painting that she did of herself to get into the finals. And in her particular episode, I absolutely loved her painting. Uh, I went a little gaga over it, but okay, here's what she did in the semifinals, which was the last episode, and I felt like she choked a bit. That face, the second portrait of Simon Callow behind, is sort of uh, becomes confusing. It becomes a phantom shape. You don't really have resemblance to the sitter in front, so I, I thought uh, she had probably wasn't going to go ahead to the finals because she just wasn't, it just wasn't her best day. Um, let's see that slide. Okay, so here's what she did. I, 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 uh, I don't think it has a resemblance to the sitter at all. Oh, you know, I love her style. There's no question about that. And, you know, purple plays against yellow so well. And, oh, you just want to pick up some delicious thick paint and, and, and have a good time. But uh, it doesn't look like her at all. And I thought, well, I really love her style. Well, you know, pull back. It does start to have a resemblance. But, um, but this is, this is where art is so subjective. Although I have to admit, this is the painting I would have chosen. I like unfinished paintings. I like where you can see the process of the artist. I like it when they don't, quote, finish. You know, just get the essentials down as much as you need in order to read the forms, but not so much information that, that all the uh, work of, of the viewer is done for them. But that's just a personal bias. Now, her commission piece is of Zandra Rhodes, who's a textile designer. Now, first of all, her name is Zandra Rose. How could she not be a textile designer of some kind? And doesn't she look like she would be a textile designer? Of course. What else could she possibly be? <laughs> I mean, remember, this was a few years ago. This was before everybody was, so many people were making their hair pink and whatnot. Oh, I love this painting. I love this painting. I love a cerulean blue nose. How could I not love a cerulean blue nose? I almost always make a dog's uh, nose have cerulean blue on it. I see it as a highlight very, very often. This just, everything about it, I, I love. 
and and it has a resemblance to her. So, oh, and it's a it's a larger piece as well. Now, you can see that she when she has more time, she can complete a likeness better than she can when she has that four hours. But I'm a fan, you know, I'm a fan, but I'm also a fan because I love color, I love pattern, I love shape, you know, that's kind of my thing. All right, now the final judging. The final judging is between the three people that we just saw, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Here we can see them lined up with both their commission pieces, and then they're standing next to their self-portraits as well. By now, they've spent a lot of time painting on this program. Well, let's see, and the winner is, dun, 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 dun. It's so exciting. I would root for any one of these, so I'll be happy. Well, she won. My little fractured paint painter won. <laughs> Which, you know, earlier I would have said, hashtag Joe is always wrong. You know, she may be my favorite painter in this particular program this year, but she won't be for the judges. But I'm starting to get the vibe of the judges. The judges do not want good, exact painting. They want, oh, let's stop for a minute. Here are all the paintings she did in the program. Wow, that's a that's a pretty impressive lineup. But it does. I I have to admit the ones she was she, the time constraints got in her way on the three that were done in the four hours and aren't in her way for uh, either her self portrait or the final piece that she did the final commission she did today the textile designer. Now the final commission. I'm not going to make a separate video about the final commission because episode ten is all about the final commission and frankly. Um, I don't care that much. <laughs> Sorry. But the final commission of, of Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall is known for Sex in the City and her feud with Sarah Jessica Parker. She might be better known for that tabloid feud than she actually is for any role that she's done. I think she's actually a Canadian actress, but I could be wrong. Uh, so here is the unveiling. Isn't it funny that they unveil paintings in this way? I, I, I just find it funny but um, you know, to make it dramatic. All right, here's the, here's the final commission. I'd love to know what you think of this piece because I have some mixed feelings about it. It does have a resemblance to her and it certainly follows the artist style. Um, oh boy, um, it's a cold painting. You know what I mean by cold? It's blues and violets and grays and it's it's cold it's just so darn cold no wonder they put it in a silver frame you you know it it it's uh frozen on arrival but that i'm just talking about the color temperature here that there are no warm tones in it which is surprising and there's a little bit of a warm tone in her eye there one spot of red on the far right but but that's a pretty cold painting <laughs> so anyway that's our winner for this season we go on now to season five if you're enjoying this series please give me a thumbs up it turns out that if you get a thumbs up on on youtube that that's a big deal and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you next time okay bye bye